G-code programs often contain M codes and other codes that are unimportant to the simulation. Vericut identifies these codes by reporting a warning message that the code is unsupported. Perhaps one of the most common requests related to control building is how to change the control so that it ignores these unsupported codes. Vericut's control is a black box of hundreds of macros that simulate functions in the CNC control. One such macro is called the ignore macro. And what we need to do is find the codes that we want to ignore and wire them specifically to call the ignore macro. That will have the effect of eliminating these messages out of the message area and the Vericut log file. To ignore a code, we'll use the configuration menu, word address. What we need to do is find a good place for adding in our groups for ignoring the M10 and M11 in this example. So I'm going to use the M miscellaneous class. You'll notice that the groups are all listed in order. A good place to add M10 and M11 would be following M9. And right click to add modify. In the range field, we're going to use the value 10 to ignore the first M code, M10. Down here in the macro list, we need to find the ignore macro. These are all listed in alphabetical order, but a very easy way to find the macro that you are looking for is to key in a keyword that you know would be present in the macro name, such as ignore. You'll notice that the list of macro names gets filtered down to the characters that you've typed in this field. When you see the macro that you want, select it and use add. The M10 code has now been added to our tree, calling the ignore macro. You add a range of 11 and add a new macro. Another way to do that would be to highlight a code and right click copy and then right click paste and then you can change the name. This example shows how to ignore M12. You can ignore a series of codes by specifying them all on the line. Let's imagine that M12 needs to be M12 and 14. So what I'm going to do is go down to one of the macros that gets called and double click on it. That opens the add modify word address window and I can use a space after the 12 and add the 14 and use modify. Now M12 and 14 also call the ignore macro. To ignore an entire inclusive range, include the minus sign or the hyphen. So this will ignore codes 12 through 14. To test your edits and make sure that they are working correctly, use Vericut's reset function. You may also want to clear the log file and message area and play again. And of course you are checking to make sure that the M10 and M11 codes are no longer being flagged as unsupported. 